Hey man, say man, it's 2024. Time to clean the slate and start fresh. As you know, 2023 was full of the good, the bad, and the ugly. But mostly the bad and the ugly. The past year was filled with more obtuse nonsense than a circus show. However, there's always room for improvement as a society, and the first step towards success is leaving these incongruous tendencies in 2023. I also want to thank y'all for an amazing 2023. 2024 is going to be even better. Love y'all. So today, we'll be discussing some of the most vomitous and galling trends people and subjects that need to be abandoned in 2023 comment down below some things that should be left in 2023 and like and subscribe if you're new first we gotta talk about gen alpha i don't even know where to begin bro these unearthly niggas done went and cooked up a new language like it's fucking pig latin or something these niggas are only a couple years younger than me yet i feel completely out the loop i don't think i've ever felt more seen out in my entire life i'm finna start telling kids to get off my lawn bro there was a kid who came up to me and asked if he could raise my skibbity guy and i almost called the feds on that little nigga some of y'all half-witted individuals should have asked for a dictionary for christmas the word riz has gotten dragged through the mud more than an atv you can't even be seen within 50 feet of a girl without motherfuckers talking about w riz he's the rizzly bear bro's queen elizabeth i genuinely get second hand embarrassment here in this shit bro and i don't like to point fingers or anything but today just call me randall weems because i gotta blame cox and that and duke dennis they had all these fetuses and adolescents running around chanting this word like it's a fucking magical spell or something godzilla should have just finished just when he had the chance but i think the word that i've obtained the most psychological anguish from is the word yacht the definition of this word has done a complete 180 like a bootleg turn when i was first introduced to this word i thought it was something that niggas was just saying when they saw someone who had an absolute wagon no radio flyer you know like an onomatopoeia but you inadequate twerps done turned this shit into a verb now adjective conjunction my nigga i wouldn't be surprised if people try to use yacht as their pronouns but people use this word so loosely i can't even wrap my mind around it anymore what the fuck is a level one yacht bro or a sleeper latina yacht if a caveman spent 24 hours in today's society i'm pretty sure that nigga would van gogh himself like look at this homecoming poster bro if i was a girl that he asked i would decline that nigga quicker than a spam call it got to the point where people were proclaiming yacht at inanimate objects bro but one of the main gripes that i have with this word is that people would literally comment this shit under posts on underage children but gay the people commenting this might also be children nah Nah, bro, these were middle-aged men with families. That's another thing that you nut job seen have added to your repertoire. Sexualizing the smallest things. That whole grippy and I know it's pink phase was some of the most Mephistophelian shit that I've ever seen on the internet. And that's saying something. So is it grippy? Like is it super grippy? I'd say super, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So what if, about I, you? if I throw a hot dog, will it like just go straight through or will it get stuck? never tried that before so i'll let you know we'll if i ever do it was actually concerning seeing videos flooded with these types of comments bro and they all wonder why when it's time to interact with a living breathing sentient organism y'all start convulsing and shaking like some jello it gets to the point where if the video even has a girl in it you can bet your bottom dollar there will be at least one nefarious comment bro i know y'all rooms be looking like an episode of hoarders and then there's skibbity toilet now if i'm being honest i had to do some research and analysis on this morbid topic because i was curious on why i was constantly seeing these personal pests on my feed but it turns out this nigga's pretty much the mascot of gen alpha how we were invested in spongebob is pretty much how these infantile motherfuckers are invested in this shit these little niggas be binge watching the same videos for hours on their cheeto and golf ipads when i have kids i'm concealing them niggas from the internet until they're like 15 go ahead and pick up that leapfrog bro some other terms and phrases that got burnt out quicker than a cheap candle are blood ohio sigma zesty edging yapping and standing on business anybody that unironically uses any variant of this vocabulary in 2024 needs to be transferred to gotham as soon as possible the amount of celebrities that need to be left in 2023 is inordinate and i know the title says things we should leave in 2023 but these aren't people bro these niggas gotta be genetically modified or something let's first start off with the modern day joker or harley quinn you would have thought blueface ended world hunger with the way he was getting pushed in the news bro i thought blueface dropped tatiana the mood to like yucatan or something i'm tired of seeing this immoral doodle bear and his surplus of scandalous sickos and then he'd be trying to whoop chris rock or whatever her name is ass like she stole something they literally have gotten popular from abusing each other physically and emotionally but the fact that these sadistic individuals have offspring that they brought to this world is even more mind-boggling i hope and pray that their children turn out okay but seeing the way he treats his son that task will be taller than the empire state building another dingbat that we need to live in 2023 is sexy red her music physically makes me queasy now look before i get a bunch of archers and velma dinkley's in the comments trying to claim i hate female rap i actually think there are a lot of talented women in rap that don't get half the recognition that sexy red or even ice spice gets i swear these two have to be industry plants bro one night i go to sleep never having any idea or thought about who these individuals are the next morning they're the biggest artists in the world sexy red makes music for niggas who use 13 in one shampoo the industry was pushing her more than gunner was pushing Pete. she was spawning in all types of scenarios and environments bro she was posted up with Drake, Jason Tatum, Tyler the Creator. Just keep this horny ass Taki away from me in 2024. Can we also leave this fake ass fanboy and chum chum in the past? Holy shit, I don't think I've ever been exposed to such opprobrious content in my entire life. These niggas gotta be view binding or something, bro, because I refuse to believe that there are real people behind these accounts assimilating this gooberish nonsense. Now, I'm not even the type of person to wish harm upon somebody else, but all I'm saying is that this motherfucker was to get hit with the power driver, I wouldn't bat.
and I. This genre of dumbassery needs to be abolished precipitately. Harassing people, then playing victim, and letting your roided up bodyguard swoop in like an imbecilic Superman is so corny. Not to mention, this quirky Pillsbury doughboy was playing spin the bottle with the island boys. Jack Dingleberry pretty much has done everything in his power to try to gain as much clout and attention as possible. And plus, he has a clan of OnlyFans thoughts at his disposal, and he'd be pimping them out like he's slick back or something. And please tell me I'm not the only person who thinks he has the world's most punchable face. Most of the dumb shit I see on the internet doesn't really piss me off, but there's something about this aggravating motherfucker that grinds my gears. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I could have sworn that Mandark was an evil genius who was beefing with Dexter. Since when did he lose all his intellect and start becoming the biggest piece of shit on the internet? Neon literally has to be one of the biggest losers I've ever laid my optic organs on. Remember back in the day when you actually had to have talent to grow a community online? Now anybody can just grab a camera, perform the most debased actions known to man, and these little simpletons will eat that shit right up. Pause. But the one enemy who I could probably make an entire documentary about the immoral stunts that he's pulled off is Adam22. We should have left this nigga in like 2019 if we're being honest. Wifing up a professional Trish and then letting her take more meat than a deli slicer is unscrupulous work. And then this wacko doubled down to create an entire fucking show about niggas competing to see who gets to have a threesome with him and his wife. And don't think that we forgot you were taking pages out of EDP's playbook. And he bamboozled, hoodwinked, and deceived the general public by covering it up with another man's salami. Adam445, you need to be incarcerated immediately. Did I forget to mention these motherfuckers have a daughter? Lord have mercy, bro. There's absolutely no hope for the future. Can we also leave BBLs in 2023? I'm tired of seeing these people walking around being built like fucking wisdom teeth, bro. I don't know how y'all walk out of the surgery room with your head held high. I would be mad as fuck if Dr. Miami turned me into a fucking anime villain. Matter of fact, a lot of y'all probably get them back alley BBLs. You better demand your money back expeditiously. Not to mention that their thighs are built like fucking sticks, but are somehow supporting the weight of these fucking cobblestone cheeks. And then these influencers be trying to deceive niggas talking about, I just went to the gym every day and stayed consistent. My nigga, you got more plastic in you than a Toys R Us. And that ass feels like there's a BBL epidemic that's slowly plaguing the entire globe. Y'all are literally deforming y'all bodies, and by the time you're 45, that shit's gonna be sagging and drooping like a shitty diaper. I'm a firm believer that everybody should be satisfied with the buys that they were given, but even if you're gonna go under the knife, please don't overdo it. There's no reason why I should be seeing all these Mewtwo's roaming the streets. There were a lot of fashion trends in 2023 that need to be eradicated from existence, but one of the premier clothing choices that I want to talk about are these damn shiesty masks and balaclavas. This really goes to show you the power of trends, because half y'all niggas were wearing them motherfuckers just because they were popular, walking around looking like a bunch of fake ass dumb Donalds. And you can't even use the excuse of being cold because I witnessed people in 90 degree weather sporting one of these hoes, bro. I don't know who these niggas be trying to impress, but it definitely ain't me. Obviously, Push Ice and Yeet are some of the mascots for these things, but someone who doesn't get enough flack is PGF Nook. But it's probably for the best for him and us that he keeps his mask on. But anyway, I've seen people wear them to homecomings, school photos, church, even graduation pictures. Like, who the hell are your ops? The custodians? If my mama paid for my school photos and I brought these home, the next place you would see those pictures are on my obituary. I don't understand how people can wear shicey masks every day. And I know the smell of them motherfuckers can make the wallpaper start peeling off the walls, bro. We can also scrap those gargantuan curb stompers that were popular for some reason. Had y'all niggas walking around looking like Dora's partner in crime. These orthopedic ass boots are some of the most unprepossessing things I've ever seen in my life, bro. How do you even walk in these hoes? They literally come up to the knees on most people. These motherfuckers were really paying an arm and a leg to look like Ronald McDonald. But... I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below someone or something that needs to be left in 2023. And like, subscribe if you're new. Join the fam. We going crazy. Hey, man. 2024 takeover is in full effect, baby. You already know how we doing over here. But thank y'all for rocking with me, bro. This year, I really want to, like, I got, some, I got some heat playing. I really want to, like, expand my channel. Expand, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what, what y'all want to see, bro. I've heard gaming channel. I've heard... Uh, you know, I, I'm hearing all types of suggestions from y'all, bro. So let me know what y'all trying to see, bro. And I really want to come and give y'all thanks, bro, and y'all flowers. Because 2023 was an amazing year, bro. And, you know, I don't ever take any of this for granted, bro. All glory to God. And, you know, I'm blessed to have y'all in my life, bro. Real shit. Here's to a good 2024. I hope you accomplish all y'all dreams. You know what I'm saying? Any aspirations that you got, bro, I know you can accomplish it. You gonna do it. And, you know, let's make 2024 a good one, bro. But thank y'all for rocking with me. I hope this video finds you in good spirits. I'm G Grimey. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.